Subtractive manufacturing can be done in three main ways. This is with a three axis, four axis or five axis mill. A three axis mill is a very simple mill, not normally used in dentistry and can move objects on an X, Y and Z coordinate. We can see that here. X from side to side, Y up and down, and Z back and forward. This is mainly used for manufacturing wood, furniture and other items of the like. A four axis mill, however, really gives us another parameter. That parameter is the rotation. That can be seen here. A lot of the early mills used in dentistry were four axis. However, with increasing demands on accuracy and complexity, we now see ourselves with a fifth axis. So this allows the object being milled here to be rotated in a fifth way. There are two main ways that we can mill an object. These are either in a wet environment or a dry environment. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. In the dry environment, we mill acrylic, wax and pre-scented materials such as zirconia. While in the wet environment, we're milling materials such as metals, glass ceramics, and scented zirconia. A general rule is that in a wet mill, we'll be milling the final product, and in the dry mill, we'll be milling a product that we're then going to cast, or in some way manipulate to turn into the final product. Both of these techniques rely on burrs of different sizes. And the advantages, of, the disadvantages of this are that there's wear, and that there are limits on the sizes we can have those burrs in to get into smaller areas. Strength of materials is critical. Here we can see an example of some material testing for a polymethyl methacrylate or acrylic product. We can see the conventional autopolymerized and high impact acrylic. We can see that they are quite strong. However, when we look at the milled ones, there's a very large variety of strengths. Some products are actually have more strength than the high impact, but the majority of them fall within that same range. This can be graphically shown quite well in all the products here. So we've got the injected and then the conventional over here. Laser ablation is also another subtractive technique. This technique uses a laser instead of a burr to subtract the material not required. Advantages are that it doesn't wear burrs out and that we can get into smaller areas. However, clinical testing at this stage is limited. 